Hi everyone, this is Trevor from Astro Backyard. Uh, I'm doing this video for Stefan in New Brunswick who asked me to do a video on polar alignment. And uh, it's a pretty simple process once you have it down. There's lots of technical information online of, of how to do this really precisely, but I think a lot of those tutorials make it sound a lot harder than it actually is. So it all depends on uh, where you are and the uh, equipment you're using, of course, but I'm up here in Canada, so I'm in the Northern Hemisphere, which makes the process a little bit e easier because we have Polaris, the North Star, which is pretty well due north at the uh, North Celestial Pole. Um, so on the mount I'm using here is the Skywatcher HEQ5 Pro, and this is a very common mount, and uh, it has sibling mounts that are uh, under different names, the NEQ6, uh, any EQ5, EQ6 German Equatorial mount is going to be very similar to this one. Uh, and the great thing about this mount is the polar finder scope or polar alignment scope that's built in and it is illuminated so you can flick it on and you see little, uh, it lights up in a red circle. So basically the, the theory behind the whole thing is you want this axis of your equatorial mount to be pointing uh, at the North Celestial Pole so that your tracking mount is turning on the same axis that the, the sky turns. This is right ascension uh, and you can accurately track your object. Uh, and the better your polar alignment is, the sharper your images are going to be. So it's really important. Important. Um, it's important. <laughs> and, uh, so what I, I use a specific app on my phone every time to get to find out the the exact placement that Polaris should be in this finder scope. The first thing I do, and I'm going to go outside and show you this, is roughly align it so at least Polaris is in the field of view looking through this scope. It's quite wide. It's like looking through like a wide field eyepiece. And I at least start with Polaris in view in here before I make the final adjustments on the mount to get it in the exact right spot. Um, and to make sure that you do get the rough spots, so you can even find Polaris in here, you're going to want to make sure that, you're, that you, you have the correct latitude for your location in degrees. On this, your mount will have um, markings such as this. And I'm at 43 degrees in uh, Niagara in, in Ontario. So I'm set to 43 degrees here. So that's going to be a good start for roughly the right height putting at Polaris. The other thing to think about is that if you're on uneven ground, your tripod needs to be level too because it, think about it, if it's off looking up, that 43 degrees is going to be up past Polaris. Once you've got the correct degrees, and you can just Google it for wherever you are, the correct latitude, maybe you know it already, uh, and, the tri and the tripod mount is level, you should see the North Star Polaris in here. And it does stick out because it's much brighter than anything around it. It's connected to the Little Dipper, but if you're in a light polluted city like me, you won't see the Little Dipper ever. Uh, but it's noticeably, like once you start to know where to look for it, you'll, you'll know when you have it every time. It's important to note that the only way you're going to see down this axis is if your scope is on its side like this. Okay, so I'm set up outside now, and I've got Polaris roughly in view in the Polar Finder Scope. Um, and now is the point where I pull up this app called Polar Finder, and using my GPS, it shows me exactly where Polaris should be for my mount tonight at this exact time. So you can see Cassiopeia on the one side and the Big Dipper on the other. And that's the North Celestial Pole in the middle. And that's where Polaris is. So as you can see, it rotates around it uh, throughout the year. And right now, it should be right there. Now that we've got Polaris in view through the polar scope, we're going to make some fine tuning adjustments on the mount to get it in the exact right spot. So on any German equatorial mount, you're going to find bolts like this for adjusting latitude 
and you'll see the little arrow move as I adjust it here. It's moving, but of course I'm at 43. Uh, so you look through the finder scope and you, move, and you adjust these bolts, and you also want to adjust these knobs left to right. This is how you uh, move the mount around to position Polaris. So to recap, set your mount up uh, with a level tripod uh, to your latitude for where you are, um, and you can find that online. Uh, get Polaris roughly in view through the finder scope. Use the Polar Finder app to tell you the exact position that Polaris should be in relation to the North Celestial Pole for that exact time in your location. Use the bolts to raise the mount up and down and the knobs to turn the mount left or right until you get the exact location along that ring around the North Celestial Pole for Polaris that night, that, the time spot. And the methods I've just shown you are exactly what I do on a nightly basis to uh, get uh, pretty well polar aligned and take some sharp images. So hopefully you found this video useful. And if you like this kind of thing, DSLR astrophotography and tutorials, uh, then please subscribe to the Astro Backyard channel. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. You got an itch, buddy? Jesus. You got an itch? Okay.